Welcome back everyone, Drake Hawkins with you again for some more uh, Floris Expanded in our Mountain Blade Warband. We're doing the War Maids and we are in episode 18 now. We are going to continue the process of hunting down bad guys and whatnot as we continue to try to catch up to the previous level we were at. So I'm going to highlight a few battles uh, of interest. Uh, this is uh, not, not a spectacular one, but it is, does showcase uh, a little bit more of what I'm uh, doing with the... Uh, getting more into using the commands and the groups together with, and, you know, placing them properly and and uh, training up the troops. We've got a decent hunk of infantry here, and we're starting to get a decent amount of cavalry set up as well. Uh, so, you know, this episode I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to skip over a lot of the battles, because you really don't want to see the battles you've seen in the first 16 uh episodes all over again. This is a really tiny batch of them. I'm uh, gonna give the uh, pretty simple commands here and get things rolling. Uh, what are we doing here? Cavalry moving around and whatnot. Gonna go run down some of these guys with me lance if I can and apparently I you know, have trouble with that and <laughs> getting shot. But that's alright. Uh, we really don't need to do ouch getting shots in the leg. Oh my leg! My leg! <laughs> Help me! Help me! I can't, I can't work for the pain! Um, yeah, the, the, the bandit, or the bandits don't stand a chance. They just basically get mowed down by the, the mauling ball of death as it comes at them every time. Like, that, that was it. We didn't even do a thing. Just rode around like a lunatic. Uh, nine prisoners out of that. And, uh, get a bit of training as well. Okay, so we have a bit of training here for Nadia after a few more battles. Uh, let's see what Nadia has for uh, skills and equipments. Uh, actually, she's wielding the longsword, which is great. A lot of them have uh, been collecting those from the... Uh, uh, what are they called? From the... Um, the Forest Bandits. As we go through and kick their butts, we get a lot of uh, those swords, and that's been improving the weapons capacity of these guys. And intellect up and training to three for Nadia, which is nice. And uh, she's also going to get her riding up to three. Uh, One-handed weapons is definitely the focus for them at this point. And uh, heading off to Suno. Looks like a war declaration. Nords declared war on the Swadians. That should make a mess of the map real good. Uh, Hannah Kalia here is going to get a little more training done as well. we got one attribute point to spend. We'll put it in agility and uh, up her weapons mastery? Question mark? No, yes, no, yes, get around to it, Drake. Good job, yes, weapons mastery. Um, Two-handed, what do we put it in? I don't know, maybe two-handed would probably be best. Yeah, that's going to increase our ability in uh, tournaments a little better. All right, so we find ourselves off in the snowy wonders of Vagerland and find a Tundra Bandit camp here. <coughs> Pardon me. And I'm like, nah, I don't think we'll take it. And maybe, maybe we will, maybe we should. Yeah, this sounds like a great idea. 54 dudes, we're, you know, modest skill levels. There we go, we just got a, uh, a level for uh, Mira. So I decided I'm going to stop and train her with her fantastic schmock. She's still wearing that darn le leather smock thing. Yeah, she does it in this one too. She did it in the previous, you know, way back a dozen episodes or so. Uh, train her up though and uh, grab a few more skills for a few more crew. Uh, still focus on the archers, I think, yeah. And, uh, come on, there we go. Um, so I bring the uh, A5s up to the top, thinking maybe that'll help bring some of them into the fight with us. Uh, how far did I put it up there? I guess uh, it would be sixth on the slot. Now I think that brings in the should bring in the Tundra Bandit or not Tundra Bandits the uh, H5s uh, to help us out here. And uh, looks like do we have any of them? I'm not, I don't remember if we ended up with any of them in there. But uh, another one of these matches similar to the type of thing you find in the initial. Uh, you know what? No, we don't have the, ten the bandits with us. Weirdly enough, they didn't join the group, the uh, fight. I uh, must have done something wrong in there. I don't think they ended up in the fight. We'll see. We'll check in the corner if it uh, comes up as a, uh, um, as a kills by them or, <laughs> or them getting killed, which would suck. Um, so these ones are a lot, uh, a lot different. I just wanted you guys to see, well, a little bit of a spoiler here because, um, it's not all, uh, 
perfect easy, and I don't, I'm not just gonna give you just a glimpse of the awesome. I get a little hurt here, and uh, uh, it is just a Tundra Clash camp, so Bandit camp, so we should be able to take these guys out, but it uh, definitely starts uh, taking a toll on us as we get into this. Uh, I took out the first one pretty good. There's a lot of whiffing arrows going all over the place. Apparently the uh, ladies are just uh, shooting like mad, but not really doing much as far as uh, as far as damage goes. That's arrows coming and going both ways. Got the shield up, this old, trusty old coat shield. Ouch. That was odd because it hit the shield and throws you off a little bit, and then the next arrow either hit my legs or something, dropping me to half health. And these guys are in super close. I got three of them and one more coming in from the back there, it looks like. And then uh, Cleffy and Oddville get knocked out arrows one after the other. Stuff is turning bad real quick. We got that one guy out. That's good. Another one. Oh, he takes a shot in the face. A sliver of health left. Can I survive this? I have a swing and a miss. Shield block there. Another guy spawns on us. And then we just take a pick to the head. That ends these missions, though. You don't get to do the body swap on this. What has, ends up happening is it just sends the uh, um, sends them back to go spawn a new spot somewhere else on the map. Loss for sure for the team there. So continuing on after that, we uh, get uh, a chance here to uh, we got to move the H fives back down. We get a chance here to uh, train Clethy. She's gotten herself a level here. So let's uh, let's see what we can do for skills for Clethy. She's seven strength now, so I think uh, we got training one point of training to put in. So we put our strength up to eight. Work on the one-handed a little. Same basics, just so you guys can see how things are progressing with the characters as it happens. And uh, then we're gonna go and hunt down some more tundra bandits. Uh, this time they're not in a camp, so we'll get a good chance to uh, see a decent bashing of them. So the crew is, uh, we got a, a, a few archers here. Um, those are mostly A3s, some infantry lined up. Uh, let's move the archers up a little bit here. Uh, bring the horse archers in range. Uh, yeah, the infantry ahead too. Just kind of getting used to um, effective control of the, uh, of the crew. And then we got uh, H5s doing some good damage. That took a massive hit on me. Uh, did more damage than I expected there. Uh, send everyone in to do the charge and see what ha what comes of the battle. Uh, their charge started to take them down. We do lose a few people in this match. Let's see, I don't recall how many in total, so, uh, ouch. Look at that. Arrow right through the armpit, through the back of the shoulder. That would so hurt. It's ridiculous. Um, horse is kind of damaged here. I'm running around with a sliver of health. Foolishly charging him right here. Uh, somehow these guys don't actually end my life, although they should have. Thankfully that uh, uh, slave driver comes along and saves that piece for me. Or saves that death, me from that death. Again, tried to get a knockout there, missed it, slave driver finished him off. And uh, not much left on that fight. I think they take care of everyone else from here. Is there anybody else left to get knocked out by? No. That's it, but look at our health bar. It is so low. And that, ar that arrow, that would hurt. That would so hurt. I ended up getting an H5 killed, um, an I3 killed, three of our I, four of our I3s, a slave hunter, a slave driver. It was just a poorly done, I shouldn't have charged them when I did, should have let the guys do their job in proper order. Uh, a bit more training here and, uh, and off we go. Okay, so uh, a little bit of uh, a little bit of cash loot there. Not much came out of that. Uh, if you notice, right there, there, Tender Bandit Layer. That's the replacement for the previous one that we failed at so miserably. So they just relocate themselves somewhere else. Is basically what happens every time. Uh, looking around to do a bit of slave trading here and find ourselves a farmer um, and a whole bunch of uh, of other dudes that we're really not interested in but uh, helping out this farmer would be nice we get a little bit of a mission from him essentially they ask you to go he's from a specific village he says hey can you help my village we find out where it is it's the village of Shulis. Um, there are marauding bandits harassing that village so we've got to go find the village of Shulis and find a reason to go beat up some dudes which is pretty much any reason for anything 
we'll go beat dudes up that are bandits. That's just what we do. We're the war maids. Uh, let's see. Do we get in straight into that? I think we can get straight into the fight there. And there seems to be a lot of uh, Vagar lords running around here. But I'm uh, uh, going to go attack these bandits. This is uh, a different fight that we haven't uh, seen since we've been uh, rebuilding the uh, war maids here. So let's... Uh, Everyone uh, hold position, yes. I got them to uh, hold uh, hold formation there as I'm going to... I think I'm going to roll around and just get the whole crew to line up. I'm trying to figure a way to lessen the random, like, oh, hey, we got an H5 killed because he ran in and got somebody got a lucky blow on him. Uh, speaking of H5s, they just took out instantly as soon as they get within range. They took out... Uh oh Oh, fail jump. Uh, they took out two uh, bandits right away. Uh, let's see, Oddval got herself knocked out, and then there it is, a C4 killed, and uh, that sucks. A farmer killed isn't a, isn't an issue at all to me, but uh, when the farmers in this get killed, that just that's what happens. Uh, but we can get in here and knock a few dudes in the head. Uh, this guy is a little, a little hard to hit, and then bam! Forgetting that I had, like, no health left at the end of that other match, I got myself whooped. Whooped by a bandit in a farmer village. Uh, that finished it though before uh, the mighty Odval in her leather schmock here gets in the need to get into any fights. So, oops, got myself into a fight with no health. Bad deal. Got two of our C4s wounded. I didn't see the other one there. Uh, but this gives you the opportunity to gain some honor. We uh, don't take any of the loot from it and just uh, hand it back to the people and say, here, be happy. And their relations with us is up to eight. So this is a little strange. If you see here, there's something, something a little oddball happens here. We are crossing the village, uh, the heading across the uh, bridge there, and there's 17 of them chasing us. I'm like, well, that's ridiculous. Why would? Oh yeah, we only have 10 dudes that are ready for fight. Now 11, 13. We just keep running away. Like it's there's 13 to 17. We're um, being chased away. All 46 of us and our 13 prisoners are being chased by a bad band of 17 uh, uh, Tundra Bandits. Cause you get everybody injured and uh, that's the quickest way to lose a large army is when you get a substantially smaller group than yours, but they uh, jump you after a major fight and that uh, looks like that major fight was apparently freeing some farmers. Uh, we got some I-4s there, but we're going for the, uh, the mounted crew, so we're going to leave them alone. I come back here to sell the mer some prisoners and realize, nope, we don't have prisoners to sell. Or nobody to buy our prisoners, rather. So we're looking around at the merchant here and we find a large bag of Imperial arrows. That's a plus two damage arrow. They're not bad. 456 dinar for that. Uh, so we can toss those in and move the cabbages around. And then uh, continuing the search here, uh, we don't find any other weapons, um, but uh, let's look and see what we can find for armor. So browsing around the merchant here, the armor merchant, looking for something that's kind of our uh, price point and reasonably uh, reasonable equipment. Ugly looking helmet, jeepers. I actually picked that one up because of the mask. Same as that one. Looking so dorky and silly. Um, wow, purple outfit, really, Drake? How about a yellow dress? So amazing. Leather jacket, weird. Uh, what? Wait, what is that? Hmm? What? Battered Vega Green Lamellar Armor. 3911. That's a fairly substantial piece of armor. I think we'll go with the 3911, don't you think? Versus our 3512. It is an improvement. It's not super awesome, but it looks so much better than the other. I think it looks so much better than the other. We'll keep that one around for the the teammates and see what comes of that. So I've uh, skipped ahead again uh, quite a few days here, uh, well, a number of days anyways, just a bunch more of the hunting down bad guys and cashing them in for coin, uh, and they come across this little deserter batch. Uh, I'm like, yeah, this is great, look at them. They have five guys, or seven guys and five prisoners. Let's go mash them. It's a, it's, I don't know why, I just look at some of these and I'm like, oh, this will be a fun battle and then go ahead and plan out the whole thing. Like, you could have just hit charge. There's seven of them, Drake. 
Seven. But then always when I hit the charge button, some lunatic rides ahead of everyone else, like a slaver or something, knocks out a couple guys and then gets stabbed in the face and you lose them. Which is kind of annoying when it's like seven dudes. So I'm doing all this big setup here. I think what I, my, my mindset was, I need to get, you know, get used to doing this better and uh, uh, as well just figuring out getting you know our infantry and whatnot that we're trying to actually train maybe have them give give them a chance to actually do the killing so that that's kind of where I was at in this one and it takes them forever to get to us because it's like what is it a few i4 infantry or something like that um, giving spread out commands the infantry and just just silly nonsense things when it's seven it would make sense if it was like you know 30 dudes 40 dudes coming at us this could be worth something but whatever get get the archers training let, let them uh, you know not really training just firing off there we go we got an a5 taking out the, one of the dudes yar there's only seven of them i'll just run and smash them with the face of my horse before i do anything else See if I can get, I think also I'm like, yeah, I can get into the And they take my horse out and most of them in one ridiculously fast swing. Archer's taken there, and Archer takes one of them out, and a few of them pretty damaged. And then they break my shield, and then they knock me out. That's right, seven of them kicked my butt. Uh, so I take over as a mirror, do a little body slide, and uh, by the time I get up here, there's one of them left. It's just. The most ridiculous fail of a fight. Um, it's just, it was dumb. I ended up with like zero new, or zero health at the end of it. Actually, not, I was going to say Mira got the kill, but Nadia got the finishing blow there. Um, so it wasn't even me doing the hit. It was just ridiculous. Um, so end up, um, we lose our, lost our monk. I picked him up earlier. It was interesting. Uh, Idea. I didn't, don't really, at this point, I didn't even have a clue what they were about. But there are a few a few different um, bonuses you can get from having random types of uh, characters like monks, or manhunters for that matter. Uh, you notice manhunters will, uh, if you get enough of them, will increase your prisoner management uh, levels. Well, that's, that's pretty cool. 15% health left on uh, Hannah, only because she ended up not losing everything. Or not, ended up with, you know, a point or whatever it is in the... What is it? Wound treatment or whatever. One of the ones that gives them the ability to not die instantly. Funky leather yellow shield. If it was green, I might consider taking it. But, you know, and it doesn't have... I wish all the shields had the option to either use your uh, paint or not. Throw a few of the items that I've got available for these fine friends of ours in there. And a few people get, uh, like, that nice helmet that we just got. That was a good pickup. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, finished that ridiculous match that should have just been a wipe up just to send our dudes to charge, and we totally failed, got ourselves knocked on the butt, uh, I still, it is the, what is it, the n April 9th, and I still have intended to either of those, uh, those debts, which is, you know, really dumb, uh, we got a, a fight going on there, and I'm sitting there thinking, hmm, look at that. There's there's a fight and look it's Uxcarl it's owned by the uh, Rodok Republic, and uh, looking around the map, um, most of them are still fine. There hasn't been any real uh, uh, changes of hand as far as material goes, but Uxcarl and Darim are two of the ones that are most commonly taken first. I find in this, so I'm just gonna pass on by that Stand mess and and, uh, and continue on, and all of a sudden get run face long into by these guys they're bandits they're forest bandits i'll skip uh, I'll, I'll skip part of it because it's a really annoying long uh, long fight but we've got 11 dudes because most of our 55 are injured um we've got uh 20 what is it 24 bandits coming at us and only 11 of us in the fight not good that's what i mentioned about earlier where you end up losing a large group of dudes and uh um well it's a painful, painful uh, process here, so. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to uh, joust a few of these guys out. Uh, this is not looking good at all. 
throwing the shield up in case they get a lucky shot on my arrow. Hopefully the shield will block. Um, and, but it took too long to get down to the... <laughs> To actually spearing them. Um, so get in here, I take one dude out, or get a good solid hit in anyways, with the uh, pole arm, with the lance. Another hit, but not much damage done, probably because you know, I'm not going too quick. The crew is into the fight, but they are outnumbered like two or three to one. These guys are still shooting at me. Uh, Cleffy's taking out one of them, and then the numbers start dropping. They start losing dudes like crazy. I'm whiffing on the uh, sword hits. That could have been two easy kills. We got a manhunter killed. A bunch of people knocked out. All those are yellows and reds, so I'm like, I'm out of here. I go ahead and uh, hit the retreat button and realize that it's not going to work because I'm stuck with them. So it's me versus 23. <laughs> going to hit charge the enemy and run in there and valiantly uh, take them all out with my lance, my trusty lance, and my 15% uh, health that I'm running out here. Battle advantage is minus 20%. Uh, when you're in these battles, you can actually, there's a chest there on the ground, you usually don't see it, uh, but I, uh, you can go and switch up your weapons. I fumble around with them a bit and then decide I'm not going to do much changing. End up basically settling on the same deal. And uh, off we go, pull out the lance, I got my lance and my shield, and uh, it's not the, uh, I switched from the um, lower damaging blunt one to the to the piercing one, it does a lot more damage to them, it's only a difference between 14 and 21, which you'd think wouldn't do a big, big deal, but when you're lancing, man, you do some serious damage with these, we with these weapons compared to the actual points, like a, a weapon that has 40 damage, versus a weapon that has 20 damage, you'd think it would be like a double difference, but the one with the 20 damage, if it's a lance and you're riding your horse into them with it, yeah, you can easily get equal or greater damage done with uh, with the pole arm, with the lance. Circling around here, Lincoln, man, this is a hopeless fight. I'll keep circling around, see if I can get a jab in or two and, uh, you know, whittle them down. Maybe, maybe one of these times when you get the valiant fight that just turns out ex excellently. If I were to have sat there and ran, and ran circles around them forever, it would have taken like 15 minutes, but they eventually would run out of arrows. All of them. And so when they do, they just start running at you with their sword and shield, and in that case, you can start picking them off. Of course, I see an opportunity here, get impatient, and decide that I'm going to couch in on this guy, take him out, look at that, that makes me happy. Run over another guy. Got three more points of skill. Thought, hmm, maybe I can do something here, yeah? I am Super Hannah Kalia, and of course, I'm going to kill them all. Being patient still, though, you know, not not too bad. We uh, got actually get a little bit of health back from knocking that guy out, so I might be up to 20% health, and then another two arrows pound into the horse. And I am stupid enough to charge. Charge right into them. Look at this. I got another guy. Oh, no, I don't. He got me in the face. So that ends that fight. Really a brutal death right there. Uh, got captured. Yes, it happened. Hannah Kalia has been captured by the evil bandits. And uh, then she escapes here. Uh, bandits usually don't hold on to you very long. We have eight, beca eight people here because we... Uh, um, because of the mod uh, feature that lets your companions stay with you, um, basically they're just an extension of you. Uh, in, but no, yeah, we're, we're done, we're doomed, we're out of dudes, we got eight of us and we're all injured, and it's time to go start hiring back some crew. Every, uh, vill every tavern, of course, has uh, some of these guys, so we're going to go ahead and spend 1144 dinar to gather as many as we can. Continuing on up to Valuka to gather a few more. The C4 is here, the ladies. We're going to go ahead and hire them, too. So uh, we find ourselves later heading over to Sargoth. And a uh, budget of 883 now a week. Starting to rebuild some of the troops. Um, 
basically by spending a copious amount of cash in all these inns. Um, look at my health is still tiny from a recent fight that I nearly went terrible bad for us. Uh, belligerent drunk in the inn, something I absolutely find hilarious. And I'm sitting here trying to punch him for some reason. Oh man, he got whooped. <laughs> It's, it's an odd little thing that they put in. You pretty much always win, and if you don't, you just get knocked out. Like, there's no loss. Other than that, mind you, had Methel not been there and I wasn't paying attention, I probably would have been knocked out there because I had so little health to start with there. But uh, continually, continually going around and finding uh, uh, slavers to sell off the, um, the slaves that we find to... And that one's only 910 bucks. We've been making some decent coin. Um, we're back up to 1400 and still working on finding some, uh, you know, hunting down sort of for equipment as we continue to uh, re So heading away from Sargoth back across here. the river. <clears throat> trying to find ourselves another one more fight to get in here. And uh, it looks like there are some deserters getting attacked by some manhunters. So let's hop into that one. I thought I might be able to get involved and have a decent fight of it, but it's 81 to 24. It's so a really not a spectacular um, clash of forces here, but we'll have a look at it. Uh, still recovering from the uh, last two t or so times that I've gotten myself hurt. And let's see what we can do here. We're going to uh, reposition our Manhunters. See if we can get in there with a good smash. We got a lot of, uh, back to having a, quite a number of infantry here and archers. The archery line's actually like twice or three times as big as the infantry line, so I try to slide them across and then I realize that, that wow, there's just so many archers here. It's a mammoth firing range. Arrows flailing like crazy, looter being killed by uh, an A3, that's what you get for standing around buck naked in a battlefield, dude. Um, so. A little bit of a switch up. I'm going to join the front lines because it seems like a less likely chance of getting myself run down. Charge of the Manhunters. Let the infantry keep coming. Charge of the cavalry. They're coming in from each angle. And this is just a textbook slaughter. Not all, not all me doing the slaughter. Most of it, of course, being, uh, being our Manhunters and our uh, cavalry doing things. But... Those are a lot of high fours, and they're actually a decent uh, stock of guys to uh, take care of things. Here comes our horse. Uh, I love the whistle for your horse to regain him. But he never gets back. I never get back into the fight here. It's over before I get there. It's just such a quick set of battles. Um, but again, good coin when you can capture a bunch of these guys, and it helps relations with the man hunters. These I fours are actually worth a decent chunk, so. And we managed to get uh, some more Manhunters back up to 68 of 70 after our foolish blunder of getting ourselves knocked out there. A few things trained up. We got some uh, some archers, got a couple hunters hanging around oddly that I recruited. They give you actually a bonus to, what is it, uh, spotting and a few other things for... Um, yeah, pathfinding and spotting and whatnot, so... A couple uh, interesting pieces of gear here that might be of use to a few of us and a few of our clan. And I think that's a good, uh, as good a spot as any to uh, put in a cut. I've got uh, you know, lots more material coming here for you. We'll be doing uh, more compiling of uh, fun stuff uh, before we get uh, back to the, the standard Let's Play style that I want to return to. But there is definitely some more time to go. It's April 26th and I think we've got an entire month still of time to catch up before we get back to the state that we were at. But thank you so much for joining me and uh, hit that uh, subscribe button or the like would be greatly appreciated. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you're enjoying this sort of a compilation style as opposed to the uh, normal just Let's Play or if you prefer us to get back to seeing everything if you feel like you're missing out, I don't know. Let me know, and uh, as always, I'll see you in game.